guys, it's Wednesday evening and tonight's dinner is supposed to be burger and chips. Um, now, I was going to get um, the uh, Slimming World Smoky Bean Burgers from Iceland, but I've tried a couple of different Icelands and neither of them had them in stock, which is really annoying because I was like, that was totally in my head when I was making this plan. And I was going to have them between grilled aubergine slices, which is one of the ideas that it suggests. So I'll just show you on the plan. So that, that is what we're going to be having there, the veggie burger. Um, and, oh, sorry about that. And salad. Um, so that's fine. I'm just adapting myself. So, um, I'm just having these two small potatoes because I'm really quite, I'm not, I'm not full, but I'm not that hungry this evening. So um, I figured this is an appropriate amount to make into chips. Usually if I'm making wedges or chips, I would have definitely double this. Um, so yeah, um, for me, this is like, that's fine. Um, so yeah, and then I'll make a salad. I've got loads of salad stuff and then I'm just going to show you two things that I've just bought. Um, I was looking for a veggie burger. I found the Tesco plant-based range in the big Tesco down by work. It's one of the big extras. And um, they it all looked really good, but they didn't have any veggie burgers, which is what I was kind of hoping for, because I thought, oh, that's when I can incorporate it and try a new product at the same time. Instead, I have what I've got, so I'm just going to show you. Okay, so what I bought, these are new, uh, well, new to me, I've not seen them in Tesco before. I must say the big Tesco literally just like tripled its vegan section, which was really nice to see. Um, there's quite a lot of new products, but anyway, I've just worked out the sins. So these corn ones are um, one and a half sins each, and I just counted how many are in there, and that makes the whole pack 15 sins. These are Tofu Co. I'm sure you all know that I love Tofu Co tofu. Um, but these are Southern Fried Bites. Now, I do love a Southern Fried Seasoning. Not sure about Tex-Mex, so, um, but these seem like I get a bit more for my money, well, sins. But these on the app are 14 and a half sins for the whole pack. So if I was to have half the pack, seven sins, I get one, two, three, four, and some crumbs. Um, and if I was to have half of these for seven and a half sins, I get one, two, three, four, five. So, seems to me a no-brainer to have those, but I really want to try those. So I think I'll go with those today. Um, and then enjoy. I can't be bothered to do the aubergine, so I'm just gonna have these, chips, and a big salad. I totally forgot to show you my new chippy thing. Um, here's my potatoes in chips. So it's a big handful of chips basically. And I'm just gonna coat them in salt and pepper and I kind of rub them together because I think that'll help them really taste good. But my friend got me this, um, which is a, a quicker chips tray. Um, I need to put it straight on the oven shelf. So, um, yeah, I'm giving that a go because that'll be quite fun. I'm not putting any oil or fry light or anything at all. I'm literally just going to coat them in salt and pepper, put them on here and then go. And then when they're nearly done, I'll put the tofu things on because um, I don't think they take very long. Oh no, 25 minutes. I'll put them on the tray with the chips. Right, so I've got four big nuggets and a little bit and then this is another four plus a couple of bigger bits for another day. So that's seven and a half sins, um, I'm calling that one. And then, oh, I can't do it with one hand. But anyway, that's going in the oven, I'll just make a salad. Well, here is dinner. Look at those chips. Don't they look so crispy and delicious? I am really pleased at this result. This is literally just made with, um, salt and pepper on them and that's it. So I'm just probably going to have a teaspoon of dill mustard on this and I'm going to get you obviously minus seven and a half sins and this isn't quite to the plan <laughs> um, but I will write it out fully um, in the PDF. Hey guys it's still Wednesday night here. 
I've had my tea, that was really, really nice. Those nuggets are nice. I probably won't get them again. They weren't exceptional, um, but they were pleasant, so that was nice. Um, sorry about the mess. I thought that was neater than it was, but apparently it's not. Um, we're gonna make, we're thinking about tomorrow's food, which is Thursday. Beans on toast for breakfast. So we've got that pot left over with um, third of a tin of Heinz five beans, third of a tin of uh, kidney beans and chili sauce. So that will be the beans to go on the beans on toast. For the toast, I'm using one of those bagels. Um, obviously, if you want to use two slices from a small 400 gram wholemeal loaf, then you are welcome to. I'm just using the bagels because that's what I've got and also they're like really nice. Um, for lunch tomorrow, it is butternut squash soup, which is what we're about to make. Hence, I have things laid out. Um, and for dinner tomorrow, it is uh, tofu and vegetable noodle stir fry. So um, we're gonna get the tofu marinating. So I'll show you all of that quickly This now. is all the ingredients you need for the butternut squash soup. One onion, one small potato, one butternut squash, two cloves of garlic, a stock cube, salt and pepper, and fresh thyme. That's it, nice and simple. Uh, it says about sautéing, but honestly, I'm not gonna bother because I've got stuff to do. So I'm just literally gonna peel, peel, chop, 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 uh, peel and chop. Chuck in a pan, 900 mils of water or a litre maybe, because that's quite a big butternut. Uh, with the stock, salt and pepper. I'm gonna put in a few sprigs of thyme whole, because um, no one needs to be bothering chopping thyme. Chuck them in whole and we'll just remove them at the end, ready to blitz it. Um, and it will just simmer for about 25 minutes. So dead easy. Then we'll blend it. That is lunch tomorrow. Um, in the plan, I will show you. It says, finish with a bowl of soy yogurt topped with peaches and pears. Um, I don't have peaches and pears. I do have some nectarines. Here's my fruit bowl and my <laughs> scrawly list of everything I'm using to make everything. This is, this is my planning. <laughs> um, so yeah, my mango is looking, oh, I think my mango is ripe, so I might chop up some mango to take. Don't know how these, oh yes, nectarines seem ripe as well. So I'll probably take nectarine and or mango for lunch. And um, yeah, have some yogurt with it. So it's beans on toast for breakfast, blended soup for lunch with then yogurt and fruit. And then tea is the stir fry, which will do the tofu for in a moment. Okay, you can hear, sorry about the mess, that only downside of that tray thing is everything soaks through. Anyway, this is literally just everything shoved in a saucepan, chopped up. So it's butternut onion, two cloves of garlic, one stock cube, one onion, a small potato, uh, salt and pepper, and as you saw, a shed load of thyme. So that's just gonna, be turned down a little bit so it can bubble away. Meanwhile, over here, we're just making the tofu for tomorrow night. And literally, this is just one block of tofu coat tofu chopped up. And you want to add soy sauce and sriracha. That is literally it. So, um, I tend to just weigh it, although that's only about a tablespoon of soy sauce left in this bottle, which won't be enough, I'll tell you now. So, um, just cover that. Ah, spot on, very nearly a tablespoon. Now, sriracha, if you get the flying goose one, it is one sin per tablespoon. If you get the Tesco one, which I do, because it doesn't have MSG in it, and I don't, there's no reason we need to, it's all scaremongering, but for whatever reason, I am scared about MSG, so bonus. I use the Tesco one, and actually it's only half a sin per tablespoon, so that's a, a little happy bonus. So once you've done that, just wanna weigh it. I normally go with about two to three tablespoons. So that'd be between 30 and 45, there we go. That's one and a half tablespoons. I just need some more okay. soy. Annoyingly, that was actually the last of my soy sauce. So that sad little bit is my only bit. So it doesn't matter, it'll still be nice and I'll buy some more tomorrow and add it tomorrow. But basically, just pop the lid on and 
This is why I don't like these one chef ones because they don't line up properly. Little hint, you want glass lock. Anyway, normally this would work a lot better because it would be a bit juicier because of the soy sauce. But that's fine, I'll, leave. I'll add some tomorrow. But you can look, it's kind of starting to work. So you just give it a good old shake. And then basically you just leave it to marinade um, overnight until tomorrow. But obviously keep it in the fridge. I will add more soy sauce to mine. Usually I would say go for slightly more soy than sriracha. So if that was three tablespoons of sriracha, I would say four to five of soy sauce. Um, I always get the light or the um, reduced salt soy because um, I do suspect I have a tiny bit too much salt in my diet sometimes, but it does not have to make everything taste nice. So there we go. Um, yeah, this doesn't look appetizing, but when we cook it in the oven tomorrow, it will be lush. So that's that. This is still boiling. Breakfast doesn't need any prep because it's already measured out. Um, oh, and I'm just gonna put together the um, fruit and yogurt for tomorrow. So I'm just, again, I've still got all these going. So I'm gonna have strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. I might chuck a nectarine in if there's a particularly ripe one, which I think there was. Um, and I'm just gonna use my pot that I would use for porridge in the morning. So essentially we're just swapping ingredients around meal to meal really in <laughs> this list, but hey ho. I've just finished cooking the soup. All you do when it's done is just pull the thyme out um, and it will have lost loads of its leaves in the soup, which is why I never bother like shredding it or chopping it up because it just does it for you. So there's really no need to bother. Um, so I pulled that out and then I just blitzed the soup with my hand blender. So this is, this is it now, that the bits in it are a mixture of the thyme leaves and black pepper. So um, yeah, that made three portions, as you can see. So I'll have one for lunch tomorrow and I will freeze the other two. I'll just let these sit and cool for a bit on the side. And then I've got my fruit and yogurt. Again, the yogurt doesn't go up to here, but of course the minute you put the fruit in, it splurges up the side. So I think you can still see there's some fruit down there and there. Yeah, so you can see how, how much fruit I have in there. Um, the raspberries were no good, so um, there's only a couple in there and then there's strawberries, a whole nectarine and obviously some blueberries on top. So it's basically that and that for my lunch. And then obviously we've done our tofu, which I'll add a bit more soy to tomorrow. But that is all for me today.